I had the 2004 Chevrolet Suburban. It's actually in really good shape. On um, Decided to change the shocks on it. Little did I know it has a ZW7 suspension system in it. All that means is that, uh, well, I guess it has a special ride sus suspension, but I mean, it's your coil springs. But the difference is these, these shocks are humongous compared to the replacements that I chose. I chose the Bilstein, which did give me a good ride. The Bilstein number was a 24-143806. The shock I took out was much larger and I ultimately threw them away. And little did I know that the uh, shocks were designed as an auto leveling um, feature. So internally, it's got a, like a 0.9 inch diameter piston and it's hollow. The piston itself is hollow. Uh, this is a mono tube design, extremely high pressure. You cannot compress this down. It's impossible for you to do it. Uh, two of these together is designed to sustain a, an additional 1,100 pounds on the back of these trucks. I don't think you've ever seen one of these sag before. Um, you know, it is an eight-passenger vehicle with an additional four, four and a half feet of storage in the back. So I've never seen one sag. Um, it definitely makes a difference when you're, you know, you're towing a camper or a flatbed trailer without the, the load leveling assembly. Um, but when I measured from the hitch to the ground, it was 10 and 3 eighths inches with the Bilsteins on the back there. Um, so it, it's not what I wanted. Um, I didn't understand the suspension system, but anyway, it was hard to find what part number worked on this truck here. If, if you go on Amazon, um, there are a bunch of numbers for people that say they work. This is the number that definitely worked for me, 540-532. Uh, there's the GM number up on top. Um, I think I found the the uh, SAX website, S-A-C-H-S, um, otherwise known as the NVIDIA Shock. Um, this number was referenced for all the makes and models from the Suburbans to the Tahos and the Yukons, Yukon XLs, and the Escalades, uh, similar body style. Um, this was the number that, that worked for them all. Amazon shows it will not fit this vehicle. Um, the only difference is it's probably like an inch shorter um, not an issue unless you, you know, lift the vehicle all the way up, but that's, that's again, not an issue. It is what I took off the truck. So in just a moment, I'll show you how it restored the height for me. All right, so it's at 10 and 3 eighths at the hitch, and now I'm at 12 inches. So almost a full two inch increase in ride height. Uh, that's how much pressure is in these shocks. I should have shown the video before I mean I actually wouldn't have really noticed that was lower I mean two inches on the hitch probably means about an inch and a half at the wheel well um, you know you do angles the fulcrum of the angle the closer you go to the front wheels the less of a increase in height but these are gonna make a big difference um, they're auto adjusting which means that when you do put a load on them as you drive on the road due to the positioning of the piston within the uh, the fluid reservoir um, like I said the pistons hollow with every uh, bump on the road, it would raise the truck back to its original ride height, um, thus increasing the pressure within the capsule. Um, so it's gonna make a difference when towing trailers without the low distribution hitch, as I often do. And then of course, when you put the camper on, there's less stress on the distribution equipment to uh, try and bring the vehicle back to its original height.